floor plan and ceiling plan views have settings which determine the vertical range of what elements are visible, as well as where the view is cut versus representing geometry projected in the view. This is referred to as the plan's view range. In the data set, I have the 01 entry level active. I will zoom in on the conference room 123 on the north side of the building. The view range is a property of the active view and can be found on the properties palette. The extents parameter group is where you will find the view range. You click edit to open the view range dialog and define the plan view boundaries. If your current view is displaying elements in an unexpected manner, it is often a good first step to check your view range to ensure that it is set correctly. There are two areas of the dialog, the primary range and the view depth. The primary range settings are top, cut plane, and bottom. Let's explore them. Out of the box, in Revit Architecture, the plan view range is set like I have shown. The plan view begins with the definition of the bottom of our view. This is usually at the associated level, level 1 in this case, with zero offset. Up to four feet, everything is shown according to the object style's projection line weight assignment. For the cut plane, the dialog is asking where is the cut plane of the view? Most architectural drawings use a cut plane of four feet or 1200 millimeters above the floor. Then we get the full context of window openings and door swings within our plan views. At the cut plane, any elements in a category that Revit will cut are shown using object styles assigned cut line weight. This is usually a heavier line weight for emphasis. If I move the dialog to the side so that we can see the plan, I will change the cut to 2 feet or 600 millimeters and click apply. The windows are no longer shown. I will restore the default value. All items above this cut range to the top setting of 7 foot 6 or 2300 millimeters will typically be not shown. But there are a few categories which will be displayed as elements above and typically on a hidden line style. Select the top drop down list. All levels datums that we have defined in the project are included which are above the current level. The associated level is pre-assigned. You can also display everything up to the sky by choosing the unlimited option. In the view depth area, you can extend the primary range to see elements that are beyond the current level. If perhaps you needed to see the site or lower roofs from a roof plan, you would need to set the bottom value to a negative number relative to the current level. Choose the lowest level you desire shown or set to unlimited to show everything down to the center of the earth. If I wished to not show the storefront frame on the floor as part of my graphic standards, I may change the bottom of the view depth level assignment to 4 inches or 200 millimeters. Notice the floor slab pattern is still visible since it is associated with the current level. The top bottom and view depth settings if associated to the level, level above or level below. These settings can then be stored in a view template and used and applied to other floors in the building or other project views. Another behavior to be aware of is walls will always show in projection if they are partial height regardless of the cut plane up to six feet in the Imperial project and two meters in the metric project. As expected, partial height walls will not show at all unless they are intersected by the cut plane in a reflected ceiling plan view typically set at 7 foot 6 or 2300 millimeters.